right, Billy says a little birdie told her a secret. Oh. Oh. oh, Billy, what's that about? Well, I'm here, Jerry, because, I mean, lately I figured out that I think I might be the issue in my relationship. Yeah. Oh, how long you been with this guy? Uh, we've been together for almost two years. Okay. And why do you think you're the issue? In the beginning of our relationship, um, we... I thought I was pregnant, found out I wasn't pregnant. I think I lost my mind a little bit over the whole situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I split up with him for about four months. Yeah. And I was really, really nasty to him. Oh. He was still living with me. Oh. Yeah, it was, I mean, I was just awful to him. And he was still so in love with me. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I came to my senses, we got back together. And then I noticed he started to not be the same person. Oh. Like, the person that I felt back for, the person who... Would have done anything and it was just different like he's not being the same so i made a rash decision said i was going to the store i disappeared for three days without oh. telling him anything oh. yeah okay. <laughs> yeah so the, in other words it's almost like you're playing with him at least in his mind that's yeah the, yeah i mean i didn't mean for it to be like that yeah but yes i but mean so you went away for three days but no, and now you came back i did I, I came back and things were perfect again like okay. and that's that was my point I was trying to go away to see, you know, if he'd realize he missed me. And, you know, things would be back to the way they were before. Yeah. And they were for a couple of days. And then what happened? And then I uh, recently befriended this girl. Um, she was our old neighbor. Her yeah. name's Shay. Um, we, I went to her house. <laughs> Some funny story. Um, I went to her house. We were talking about everything. Shay knew everything about my relationship, like what I wanted, how I felt about him, how I wanted things to go, you know, well. Yeah from now on and then she has this bird it, it's like one of those birds that mock noises a parakeet yes yeah, yeah. something his name was casanova he was just this, <laughs> this green and yellow bird yes oh there there's the bird that's the bird yes that is the bird that i seen in her apartment okay now why, why is the bird relevant to this because i was sitting there and all of a sudden this bird starts making noises and i'm just like all right you know i'm not thinking anything and then the bird goes great and I'm like, okay, I'm like, the bird, we've been going crazy, like, it, and then it just started, you know, kept doing, Grant. The bird says Grant? Not completely, just like, Grant, Grant, like, not yeah. the, with the whole thing. And I'm like, that bird's saying my boyfriend's name. Like, oh. that's my boyfriend's oh. name. Oh, oh, man. I haven't said anything, though, because I just kept thinking, you know, maybe I'm just going crazy, like. Yeah. But, but the no. bird, yeah. The that bird, bird was saying well, my boyfriend's name. how would the bird know? I have no idea because my boyfriend's never been to her house and I've never you think? said it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've never, never oh. said his name there. So, man, so the bird blew the whistle on you. The huh? <laughs> bird did. <laughs> so you're here to find out whether. Now, did yeah. you ask, did you say anything to her? No. Why is the bird yelling a uh, boyfriend's no, name? No, I haven't said anything yet. So you're here to find out. I'm here to find out if my. my my boyfriend was at this her house. This is a smart bird. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Shay, that's the next name. Oh, that's her? Yes. That's your neighbor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's Shay. <laughs> All right, girl. I'm just going to get, like, straight to the point here. <laughs> was Grant to your house? Like, did he come over? It doesn't take a rock a scientist okay, to figure out. Okay. What, what exactly happened? <laughs> well... If, I don't know how else to put it, but he mocked Grant's name because that's how I screamed it. Oh, yeah? So, he's... so let me get this straight right here. So, you guys had sex. Did I stutter? I told you what I wanted to do with him. I told you about our wedding plans. You knew how attached he is to my kids. I brought you over to my house after that, around my kids. You took a shower at my house. Are you kidding? If you knew how to make your boyfriend happy, he would not have shown up at my house. You were missing.
you just had played me? Like for what? What are you getting out of it? Played you? Like yeah. you came over to my house, we've hung out. We've hung out maybe. And every time that you have come over, you do nothing but talk about yourself because you are the most selfish person I have ever met. Well, um, you know, we don't need to talk about you because you plastered all over Facebook. You're just mad that I get attention on Facebook and the only time that anyone pays any attention to you on Facebook is for your little business, right? Because Opening I am a oysters. 27 year old woman. You are a 19 year old little freaking prostitute Barbie. Where is your career? Why are you walking out on your man if you are a woman? Oh, do you want to be with him? Yeah, no, do you? Absolutely not. Do you want to be with him? No. He does not matter to me. No. no. Wreck a relationship, a family? Who we'll wrecked the relationship? Uh, not me? me because I didn't cheat. Well, out here's Grant. <laughs> What? Those two days you were gone, I didn't go over to her house to Then no, what? what did you Listen, go over there for? Sure, I went over there to find out where the hell you were, because you walked out on me. You better walk with the hell. Hey, you get out of my face. You walked out. How many times have you walked out? This ain't the first time. Those two days, I searched for you, I texted you, I called you millions of times. You didn't show up. Did you think you told, that they You told me you were going to do errands. Have you thought of it for two why days? Disappeared? Why? why? Tell me why. Come on. Give uh, me a reason. Um, a good reason. Okay, the only time you ever touch me, if you want to cuddle me, anything is when you want to have sex. Oh, like, really? And I throw myself at you. Like, okay, throw yourself yeah. at me, huh? Okay. Yeah. Well, those two days you were gone, either way, I showed up to her house to see where you were at. Yeah. Because that's the only friend I was you had since you went over there and talked to her all the time about stuff. Mm -hmm. So when I went over there, I knocked on the door. Hey, is Billy here? Have you seen her? She said, no, she hasn't. She came to the door with a towel on. She looked kind of good. Went in, sat on the couch with her. I went in, sat down with her, started talking, all right? Mm -hmm. We're talking on the couch. I'm venting to her about you, because you're never there, obviously, did you, put, you walk did you, out all the time. Did you think about putting any clothes on during this? Hey, ooh, that's not the matter right now. Oh, the no, matter no, is no, you no, walking out on That's completely the matter. That okay. is all the matter right now. All right, well, I was worried sick about you either way. I almost had your family calling the cops trying to figure out where you're at, because you're gone for days. Okay. So I go over there and talk to her. Yeah, it happened. I did smash her right there on the bed. You smash her? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do what it. What about our relationship? Our relationship? What about those four months where you took off on me again? Why'd you take me back? Why'd I take you back? You because take me I back? see something in you, obviously. Obviously not. Obviously you see something not. in her, obviously though, not. huh? Okay, okay, okay. I see that. <laughs> so, so do you want to be with her? No, I don't want to be with her. I obviously want to be with you. I want to... Oh, it's so I do. obvious, so obvious. It's so obvious. So yeah. during those four months where I took care of you every day, dressed you every day, gave you your favorite food every day for breakfast, took care of the kids, paid all the bills. I'm talking rent, car, insurance, bought couches, That was TVs, on you. That was, that was on you. I was working, too. Yeah, you were working, but where was your money going? Uh, to bills, just oh, like was yours. It? it was going to the bills. And why'd you need all me to help you out with so that? So you huh? still love her? Yeah, I love her. I love her to death, Jerry. Do you love him? Because I do love him. I love, I'll but never be done with this girl, ever. Obviously, you can see that now. She went off me for four months, going to see other dudes every day. I'm still going Doesn't back to taking care of her. Does he have a point? Not about the cheating on this that's, time. That's why I said I think I'm the issue in the relationship to begin with. But that doesn't give you a right to cheat on me. Well, no, it doesn't give me a right to cheat on you. I told you, I didn't mean to do it. I don't want to be with this girl. Just because she's younger? Yeah. No, I could care less. But you do need to be more responsible, stop being so immature, maybe step up, take care of your kids a little more, get a job maybe. Excuse me? Excuse me, I'm the one who's been taking care of him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have been. Okay. So, so you're, are you calling me a bad mother? I'm not calling you a bad mother. I'm saying you need to be a better mother. And a better girlfriend so he doesn't come at my doorstep. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You need okay. a better mother. You need to step up. You need to do more need for our relationship. Up. I've okay. given everything to you. Everything I have. Money, time, my freaking emotions, everything. I've given you and everything, showed you so I much love. I have given you everything, too. Like what, I've... in these last couple of months? You're the one who's been lacking these last couple I've of months. I've been lacking these last couple of months because you ain't been stepping up and doing your part in the relationship to make this better. So you, you guys going to st you you stay with him? Because he wants. he's saying he wants to be with you. Do you want to be with him? I obviously want to be with him. Are you going to marry me?
Am I going to marry you? How many times have I told you I want to marry you? Yeah, but it hasn't happened. And why it hasn't happened? Because I can't pay for a, a wedding, oh, a dress, I, I a ring. You, Hold on, just... time out. I can't pay for all that when I'm paying all the damn bills. I got no money. Okay. All right, and even though I offered to just go to the Justice Peace, that tastes like 50 bucks. Oh, $25 for that, but guess what? I might not have $25 after I spend my whole check on the bills, too. I'm broke as hell. So? You gonna stay with him? I'm gonna stay with him. There it is. We'll be back. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.